Hey everyone, and welcome back to Oddly Useless. Today we're diving into the extraordinary life and brilliant mind of one of history's greatest thinkers, Stephen Hawking. Get ready to have your mind blown. Kicking things off, did you know Stephen Hawking was born in 1942, exactly 300 years to the day after the death of another science giant, Galileo Galilei? It's a pretty cosmic coincidence that Hawking himself loved to point out. It was almost like the universe was passing the torch. At the young age of 21, while studying at Cambridge, Hawking was diagnosed with ALS, a devastating neurodegenerative disease. Doctors gave him just a few years to live. But in an incredible display of resilience, he defied all expectations and lived for more than 50 more years, completely revolutionizing our understanding of the cosmos along the way. His body might have been failing him, but his mind was just getting started. And what a mind it was. In the 1970s, Hawking made a discovery that shook the world of physics. He theorized that black holes aren't completely black after all. They actually leak a tiny amount of energy, which we now call Hawking radiation. This was a monumental breakthrough because it was the first theory to successfully connect Einstein's general relativity, the weird world of quantum mechanics, two pillars of physics that everyone thought were incompatible. Working alongside fellow physicist Roger Penrose, Hawking also delved into the very beginning of everything. Their work on singularity theorems provided strong mathematical evidence that our universe began from an infinitely dense and hot point, the event we now call the Big Bang. Essentially, they helped prove the origin story of our entire existence. Of course, as his physical condition worsened, communication became a huge challenge. But Hawking's spirit was unbreakable. He used a custom-built, computer-based communication system, which he controlled with a single cheek muscle. The synthesized voice it produced became instantly recognizable worldwide, an iconic sound for an iconic intellect. In 1988, he decided to share his complex ideas with the public by publishing a brief history of time. The book was a massive, unexpected success, selling over 10 million copies and becoming a global bestseller. It became famous for being the book everyone owned but few could finish. It had sparked a fascination with cosmology for millions. Beyond his scientific work, Hawking was a powerful public voice. He used his platform to warn humanity about the existential risks we face, from uncontrolled artificial intelligence to climate change. He passionately argued that for our species to survive in the long run, we absolutely must become a multi-planetary species. If you found that as fascinating as I did, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time for more oddly useless but totally awesome knowledge. Thanks for watching.